Do you have a rare sports card, basketball card, baseball card, football card? That's what we're going to be looking at, modern sports cards that are worth money all the way from the 80s up until 2021. So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. Today we are starting with a 1986 Fleer Charles Barkley card. Now this card sold at auction for $750. Now it sold for that because the card has been graded and authenticated by PSA at a mint nine. Now if you get this out of 10, you're probably talking some really good money because $750 for a, a mint nine, pretty good money there. All right, moving on to a 1987 to 88 Fleer Michael Jordan Chicago Bulls basketball card graded by SGC at an eight and a half near mint to mint uh, sold for $540 at auction. So if you guys have old boxes of these uh, cards, you know, you definitely want to look through them and uh, get the right ones graded, you know, because uh, these cards can sell for big money nowadays. Here's a 1993 Upper Deck Derek Jeter baseball card uh, with the gold hologram. Uh, you'll see that there on the reverse on the back of this baseball card. And this is also graded by PSA and one of PSA's older holders at a gem mint 10. So to have it at this uh, grade with the gold hologram, uh, pretty rare. And that's why the card sold for over $7,000 at auction. Seven grand, 1993 top prospects upper deck. Man. Now here's another Derek Jeter card. This is 1993 Fleer Excel uh, lead leaders. Uh, so this card sold for over $450 at auction because of that gem mint 10 grade. Super rare uh, to have it at that gem mint 10, of course. Now here's a 1999 Kurt Warner Bowman's best. Now this is pretty cool. Bowman's best football card graded at a gem mint 10. Man, Kurt Warner, what a story this guy has. Older PSA holder, gem mint 10, sold for over $185. Now here is a Clayton Kershaw. Now this isn't a real autograph on this card. Uh, this is the 2007 Bowman Clayton Kershaw Draft Picks and Prospects card, graded by PSA at a Gem Mint 10. Now this guy's rookie cards are going for a lot of money. Uh, this one here, Draft Picks and Prospects, sold for over $345, again graded at that Gem Mint 10. Now if you look at this card here, this is a 2008 Topps Clayton Kershaw rookie card, updates and highlights. Again. That is not a real autograph that's just printed onto the card, right? This is graded at a Gem Mint 10 also, and it sold for $990. Nearly a $1,000 card. Man, unbelievable. Now, here is a 2020 basketball card. So we got the Panini Prism Anthony Edwards Silver Prism edition of this card. And this card is graded by PSA at a Mint 9. Now this basketball card ended up selling for $180. Not too bad for a 2020 basketball card. It's not even got the Gem Mint 10. You know, someone went for the Gem Mint 10 and they got the Mint 9, sold it for 180. Now here's the 2020 Panini Absolute Joe Burrow Rookie Card. Graded at that Gem Mint 10. Oh, everyone loves the Gem Mint 10s. And Joe Burrow, of course, I'm in Cincinnati. So who day all the way. This card sold for $186 at auction. And to end it here is a 2021 clearly Donruss Mac Jones rookie card graded at a mint nine. So they didn't get the gym mint 10 here. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of a fan of these cards that are clear. You can see all the way through them. You know, I don't know. Kind of interesting and cool, I think. This card ended up selling for $115 at auction. So for more sports card videos, feel free to check out the playlist at the end of this video. And uh, yeah, check them out on my channel. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.